Hey everyone, I am Nitij and today we are diving into a great feature that's becoming increasingly common in modern web designs which is creating a toggle for light and dark modes in a React application using Tailwind CSS. Not only does this make your website look cool but it also enhances user experience by offering a visually comfortable interface under different lighting conditions. So if you are into making your web applications user friendly and stylish, then this tutorial is just for you. Also this feature is not just about aesthetics, it's a crucial part of UI UX design. It helps reduce eye strain, saves device battery life and gives your users the freedom to choose their preferred theme. Now let's see what the final product looks like. Here's a demo of the project. As you can see with a simple click we can switch between light and dark modes with a smooth transition. Also because we are saving the display mode setting to the local storage even if the user will return back to your website it will load itself based on the last saved display mode and the user will not have to set to light or dark again and again. Alright let's get into the details of how we are going to build this. So this is Visual Studio Code and here we have a React front-end framework along with Tailwind CSS already set up. Now to implement the dark mode, first let's see what's already there and what needs to be done. So we have the app.js which is importing the card component. The card component has inputs for first name and last name and then a button which is a dummy button to save the values for first name and last name. So our goal is to implement dark mode for this card component which is currently being rendered from app and this is currently how our form or card component is looking. As you can see this is currently light mode so let's start to implement the dark mode for our front end by using Tailwind CSS. Okay so the first thing that we need to do is to open up the Tailwind config.js if you want to know how to install Tailwind then you can refer to one of my videos which I will share in the video's description. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a property with the name dark mode and I am going to set its value as class because we are going to implement class based dark mode. Another mode which can be used with Tailwind is the media query mode but I find that class mode is much more convenient to use. Okay, that's all we need to do for the Tailwind config. Now get back to our app.js file. Now to be able to enable the dark mode for all the child elements of this app component, the first thing that we have to do is to check if the dark mode is enabled or not. If it is enabled, then we are going to set the class name as dark. So how to check if the dark mode is enabled or not? What we can do is we can add a state variable for that so const dark mode set dark mode equals to use state let's set its initial value as false but it is also a good idea to load the default state of the dark mode state variable from the local storage so to do that I am going to use the use effect hook so use effect this is going to run for the first time when the component mounts so use effect let's first check the saved mode so let saved mode saved mode equals to local storage dot get item and the name to use let's use the name display mode all right so if we have the saved mode available then we can use it Otherwise, if the saved mode is not available, if the user is um, toggling the dark mode for the first time or you know running the website for the first time, then we can simply save a new mode. So const new mode equals to let's have the default mode as light. Although we can also use the operating system and browser's default value to uh, set the default mode. But for the sake of this example, let's set it to light. Now we also need to set the dark mode state variable value with this uh, new mode. So because it's light, 
the dark mode should be false so set dark mode to false and then we have to set the local storage as well so local storage dot set item we have to provide the key name which is display mode and then we have to provide the value which is new mode now after this condition we can simply set the value of dark mode state variable based on the saved mode value so set the dark mode as if the saved mode is dark then set it to true otherwise set it to false but there is one mistake i think we have done over here instead of creating a new const new mode with light we can simply set the value of saved mode as light let's use saved mode over here as well to set the new display mode if it's not available and that's i think pretty much everything we need to do for the use effect hook now let's do one more thing and that is to add a button to toggle the light and dark modes and for that i am just going to add a div over here and then within this div i am going to add a button with the text um, the text is going to be conditional so if we have uh, dark mode active then we are going to set the text as set to light otherwise we are going to have the text as set to dark all right now let's also conditionally set the class name as dark if the dark mode um, state variable is set so to do that i am going to use a template string for the class value so if dark mode is set then we will set the class name as dark otherwise uh, we will set the class name as an empty string all right now what else do we need to do yep set the styling for the buttons container so class name equals to let's have a border and then let's also have a rounded container so rounded lg let's add some padding let's also center align this container now let's see how the button is looking okay so this is the button which is set to light so let's style the button as well so for button i'm going to add the class name so for class name let's set the background as gray 700 and let's set the text as gray 100 let's also add a border font should be bold and let's add some padding as well so p3 and yep that's everything i think we need to do for styling the button let's check the button first the rounded is not there because we have not added it so let's also add rounded corners as rounded lg okay so now it's time to implement the button click event so on click equals to um you know what i'm just going to create a separate function so let's call that function as const toggle display mode equals to an arrow function so over here i'm just going to set the dark mode to its you know inverse value so if it's true then it will be set to false and vice versa and now let's call the toggle display mode from over here now it's time to use tailwind's dark state so for dark mode when it will be available or when it will be enabled then we will simply set the um, windows background to a grayish color so when the dark mode is enabled so when the dark mode will be enabled then this dark class is going to be added to this parent div which means that we will be able to use this dark state of tailwind so when the dark mode is enabled then we are simply going to set the background of the entire window as bg gray 700 now let's first test it out if the single background change is working or not okay i am going to click on set to dark okay so background is toggling so this is working correctly right now we only have added the implementation for dark and light colors for the window background now let's do that for this dark mode toggle button add this card component as well and we will also add some transition animations so yeah let's do that so for the button i am going to add 
dark states background so bg um, gray um, you know what 100 a light background for the dark mode let's also set the text color so text should be gray 700 and what else yep let's add transition as well so okay hold on yep, transition and then duration should be 300 let's check it out first yep transition is working okay now let's do it for the card component as well so for that i am going to open up the card component from over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add or set the parent divs transition so it should apply to all the children as well so duration should be 300 and for the rest of the items i am just going to set the dark states value so for the label let's set the text color as gray 100 and i'm going to copy and paste it for the um, second label as well now for this dummy save button i am going to do the same and that is to add the dark states values so dark and then for text color it should be indigo let's use 600 and let's also set the background as well so dark bg uh, i'm going to use gray 100 like the toggle button is there anything else we need to do for the dark mode i don't think so all right now let's test again so set to dark set to light so for dark mode the color is not visible so let's check it out why the reason for that is we will have to set the card body's background as well for the dark mode so what i'm going to do is for the dark state i'm going to set the bg as gray 600 now let's check again okay so now our application is truly set to dark mode and yep this is the final product this is how you can do it so let's refresh the page and see if our local storage is kicking in to set the default display mode yeah it seems like our local storage is being used to um, to check on the saved display mode if it's dark or light so this is how you can implement light and dark modes in your react application using tailwind css now before we wrap up i want to remind you to hit that subscribe button your support means a lot and helps me bring more content like this to you also don't forget to ring the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos this is nitej signing off happy coding and see you in the next tutorial